doing today obviously I'm in the Subaru again why you ask because well I've got another install video today I have pretty much all of my trim still pulled other than two a-pillars so that means headliners coming off today I finally got my headliner in which makes me excited it's new it's different but I love being on the inside of this car it absolutely is beautiful in the car it makes you feel good makes you smile all the time and I know the outside is ugly but since I'm on the inside I'd at least like it to be pretty too on my way to Eric's house right now, gonna pop the headliner off, put on the new one. Basically, we're gonna wrap it, kind of. But anyway, I'm excited. I'll see you at Eric's. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll get there. Well, I just got to Eric's house. Uh, he sadly is at Walmart. I just missed him. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the headliner off. I'll get that in the backyard. I should be done with that by the time he gets back. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start spraying the headliner with the glue or the adhesive and uh, put on my new headliner. That's a little sneak peek of it. You won't see the rest until I actually get it opened up because I haven't even opened it up yet. Well, completely. So. Let me go ahead and pull this real quick, put on another time lapse, and then I'll meet you in the backyard, and then I'll have everything laid out, possibly cut this, because it might be a little bit too big. I hope it runs too big and not too small, because that would suck if it's too small. So, sorry if the lighting's terrible too. I don't really have a good spot anywhere in the car, because the Texas sun is terrible, and if I'm over here, I'm blind. If I'm over here, it's just, it's dark. So, I'm sorry. But, let's go ahead and get this taken off, and then I'll see you in the back. That was a lot more difficult than it should have been. Oh my god. But it's out. Look at the interior. The interior is weird. Or like the headliner or the roof or whatever. That's cool. Oh hey look, rivets. From that. It's cool. I like seeing the inside of this. I've never seen the interior or the skin like that. Okay, let's take it back in the back, along with the... Uh, I know my car's a mess, I'm sorry. Along with this, and let's go get started on it. I can go ahead and open up my package that I got and show you what it is. Japanese cherry blossom. 
Oh, it's gonna look so good. All right, now that you know what it looks like, let's go ahead and open it up and put it on the headliner and then see how much we have to cut away and see if it'll fit. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a piece. Looks like I might be able to do some more Japanese cherry blossom stuff on the interior. Other than the headliner, that's kind of cool. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I could make a shifter boot out of it, but I don't want to do that because that gets kind of dirty pretty easily. Leave a comment if you have an idea on what I should do with the leftover headliner pieces because I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I have like, that's like probably three, three feet worth of extra material and it's not including this side over here. So I've got probably an extra like four feet of material, which is good. Like I'm glad I ordered that much. I just, I don't know what else to put it on. I could put it on the Toyota, I guess. I don't know. That's a good idea. If you like that idea, go ahead and leave a thumbs up for that. I don't know. If not, leave a comment saying like where else I should put it. I don't know. All right, Eric just got back. So now we're going to go ahead and start cutting the, um, material. the material headliner. I don't know what to call it, but the material. you fabric specialists that are judging us uh, sorry we're not fabric specialists <laughs> same thing with paint you know what I mean it's 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 one of those deals where uh, we are gonna do this you know we're gonna do it the way we're gonna do it and it's gonna work uh, but it's not exactly what a headliner specialist would do because we're not headliner specialists this helps anybody, awesome. If it doesn't help anybody, well, rewatch the video. <laughs> Good looking good. Well, we just finished spraying and putting everything on. Uh, there's some spots where it's not uh, grabbing because the concave there is just really, really aggressive. Uh, so we might have to make some relief cuts here and there. This material doesn't stretch a whole lot, so we can't get it to like go into those concave spots. But I'm not too worried about it. I honestly, I'm not looking at a perfect, like, perfect piece. Uh, the first try anyway. I just did this more as a test piece and if I like it then it's gonna stay and if I don't then I'll just pull it off and switch it to something else. But so far I really really like it so it's, it's gonna stay. Um, but yeah, yeah, as you can see there's a couple of like creases up here that we'll have to relief cut some of the pressure that's up there, some of the spots that's right there, uh, spray some more glue and then go back over it. I might actually switch that up and do like um, a black piece of fabric just because that would be kind of interesting or kind of cool. I also have that blue suede that's in storage. I could do that too. Um, so I could actually combine two different types together, which would be kind of cool. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do yet, 
but at least I know that like with this, I like it. I like how it looks. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and let it dry. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm going to let it do what it has to do and cure. And then I'll come back out here. Uh, Eric's got to run uh, away for a little bit, but I'm going to come back out here and trim up the edges and whatnot. And then um, just see how it looks from there. Cause it's going to take a little bit to dry. So, and we're back. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting off the edges now. It seems like it's pretty dry for the most part. Uh, I've got to find the box knife. I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. So now let's go ahead and get started and cut the, uh, cut the edges, make them smaller and then get ready to glue them and tuck them. I'm actually going to get scissors because this thing isn't working that well. Never mind, these aren't doing that well either because they've been used to cut grip tape. it's officially done I don't know uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and put it in the car I probably should wait and let everything dry and cure some more on the backside but I'm impatient I just want to get it in the car because I want to see what it looks like and I want to put my interior trim back together because I'm tired of not having trim so I'm just gonna go put it back out there and see if I can get it together hopefully it works I think it'll be fine the, the whole backside or top side technically all this side that's pretty much dry and good and it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I was going to wait like a day and let it cure and everything, but nah, I've got other things I've got to do tomorrow. So I'm just going to send it and hope for the best. But other than that, it looks good. Here's what it looks like. If it'll focus, there it goes. Looks really good. Well, I got the interior put back together and it's looking really good. Ooh. I need to switch that light to an LED like those because those are bright, but it's all done. I'm so happy. That's black. That's black. That's black. That's black. So is that. Those aren't though, but that's okay. That turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to end up. Like, I'm really happy with it. Oh my God. It took forever to put all the uh, trim pieces back together. Oh my God, that was terrible. I never want to take these pieces off and put them back on again. Put it, taking them off is easy. It took like five seconds. Putting it back on, oh my God, that's terrible. My interior is pretty much done. All that's left now is to pull the dash and do the, uh, the blue suede on the dash. I can't wait for that. I'm pretty excited for that too. That's going to be even worse. Oh, and I thought this was bad. Oh well, it's okay. Soon to come though. Yeah, it's not perfect by any means. It's definitely not the best, but it's good and I'm happy with it. Like I said earlier, I was gonna wait until tomorrow to put it on, but I'm just like, no, let's let's do it now. I wanna see what it looks like. I was too excited, but it looks really good. It turned out really good. Uh, I know I keep saying that and I'm sorry, but, um, hello, my phone just went off. Hello. Uh, but yeah, that's, that'll be it for today's video, I guess. Uh, I've got something planned for tomorrow and Thursday, uh, with the mini truck. Uh, I've also got something else coming in for the mini truck that I can't wait to install to you. Uh, so keep, keep a lookout for that. But other than that, that'll be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the little interior trim slash headliner install. Uh, that's something I've never done before and it took quite a while to do. It shouldn't have taken that long, but it's the first time I've ever done it. So, hey. It turned out pretty good. It's finally becoming a car that I actually really enjoy. I still need to replace the clutch. I know it's okay. It'll come here in the near future. I know I need to get it done, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Y'all stay awesome, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.